Hey, welcome back to Tybee Time. What I have here is a corned beef brisket. It's a point cut. You can see here, it's almost four pounds, 3.90. I am just going to take this from the package, rinse it off, and I'm gonna put it here in my Dutch oven. I'm gonna put water in it to cover the top of the brisket and a couple onions. So stay tuned while I get that rinsed off and put in the Dutch oven. Okay, corned beef is all rinsed off. I put it in this Dutch oven fat side up and I cut up two onions and I'm just gonna drop them all around it. Now this packet that comes in with the corned beef, a lot of people toss it out. I'm not one of them. I use it, put it right in on top and then I put water in right in to just enough to come up to the top of the meat. There we go. My oven is preheating at 350 degrees. Let me put the top on this guy and she's going in the oven for three hours. Hey guys, there's 49 minutes left on this timer. I'm gonna take this out and add some veggies. Be right back. All right, let's do this. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Okay, so I'm just gonna add some potato. I have um, I got a carrot, potato, carrot, and I've got a couple cloves of garlic here as well. Um, this I don't even know how to say this. This would be the time to put cabbage in if you wanted it, but here's what I have. I have some shredded cabbage. And it's something that I wouldn't normally use right now, but it's something that I needed to use up. If you understand what I'm saying, it's something I've had for, oh, three, four days and I uh, need, <laughs> I think it'll be great with this. So I'm just going to set it there and there and I'm going to put the top back on and we've got 48 minutes left. So we'll be back. Okay. So here is my Russian dressing recipe. This is the way I make it. I start out with half a cup of ketchup. Any kind of ketchup, it doesn't really matter. I just use plain ketchup. Some people use like a jalapeno based ketchup. Mine's normal. Now I have a quarter of a cup of regular mayonnaise. Just plain old mayonnaise. Okay, and then I have another quarter cup of sour cream. Yep, that's how I roll. So, mayonnaise and sour cream. Now, just a dash of Worcestershire sauce. Just a dash, just a touch. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, and that is all I do to make my Russian dressing. And then I just put it back in the refrigerator. Okay, guys, timer's going off, oven's going off. Let it pull this out. Oh, it smells so good and I'm so excited. Okay. Let's see, let's get this a little pushed up. Okay. Okay. Mm, look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? It looks beautiful to me. All right, let's get this out and let it rest. I'm going to put some aluminum foil on it. Let's see how to do this. I've got Two different sets of tongs here. Let's see if I can do this. Like I said, it was four pounds. I, I don't know if you've never cooked corned beef before, you're gonna find out that corned beef shrinks a ton during the cooking process. All right, so this, I'm just gonna let the water drain. Okay, so here it is. On this plate, I'm gonna set it aside over here behind me. I'll turn the camera around in a second. I have more to show you. All right, what I have here in the pot is the carrots. Hang on a second, I'll be right back. All right guys, what I wanted to get was a knife 
to poke the potatoes. Yep, they're done. All right, so carrots, potatoes, onions, and the shredded cabbage. The shredded cabbage, yeah. That's all right here. I'm just going to take it all out of the pot and set it all aside. I'm probably going to save the drippings, or I guess the broth you would call it, from this, because that would probably taste great in a soup down the road. Okay, so here's where we're at. I'll be back. Right, guys, and here is the brisket that I just took out of the pot. And I'm just going to loosely cover it in aluminum foil and let it rest for about 20 minutes. All right, you guys, look at this. That. That's my dinner. Corned beef, cabbage, potatoes, carrots. Oh, seriously. Look at that. What do you think? How'd I do? Oh, let me get a fork. Hang on. I'm grabbing a fork. You know I gotta. Look at how tender that is. And a carrot. Mm-hmm. Mm. And a piece of potato. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> prepare yourselves for St. Patrick's Day. I'm making this video in March, or excuse me, in February. So get ready for St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for watching Tybee Time.